D-Star is amazing. D-Star is a digital voice protocol that you can use with your ham radio license, just technician level, to talk to people all over the world. Today I'm going to be talking about D-Star. We're going to do three things. Number one, I'm going to explain what you need to use D-Star. Number two, I'm going to explain how D-Star works. And number three, I'm going to make a contact on D-Star to show you how it sounds. This is going to be fun. Let's get going. So what do you need to use D-Star? Well, first of all, you need a D-Star radio. Now, most D-Star radios are made by ICOM. Uh, they have handheld radios. They have mobile radios that you can put in your car or truck or camper. They also have home base station radios that all have D-Star. And you can even use D-Star on HF. They have a couple of those. Kenwood also makes a D-Star radio, and that's this one, the THD74A. And this is a tri-band, both analog and digital with D-Star, and that's what I'm gonna be using today. In addition to that, you need a ham radio license, at least technician class in the US, and you need to be within range of a repeater. You can use this simplex. I could talk to a friend if he was within a couple miles. We could use D-Star digital voice to talk to each other and it would sound great. But if you wanna get out and talk to people in other parts of the world, you're either going to be in range of a D-Star repeater uh, that's going to be on a mountain or a building somewhere up high uh, that will be connected to the internet or you're going to have one of these. This is what we call a hotspot. This particular one is made by Shark, o Shark RF and it's called the open spot. And what this does is it acts as a mini repeater in my house, mini D-Star repeater and an internet gateway. It connects to the internet and this will take my digital voice, send it over the internet and I can connect to other D-Star repeaters or reflectors and talk to people all around the world. That's what you need, a radio, a license, and either be in range of a repeater or buy your own, like this. So D-Star works by taking my voice and digitizing it. It uses a protocol called AMBE uh, to use to uh, convert my voice to a digital signal. And then it sends it out via RF, either to another radio or a repeater, or in my case, the open spot. From there, it goes into the internet. Now, as a D-Star user, I can choose where it comes out. I can connect my repeater and link it to another, what they call gateway. So any other D-Star repeater, I can set my radio and it will go into my open spot and out any D-Star repeater in the world. That's great. But they also have what they call reflectors. Now, reflectors are basically chat rooms in the cloud and uh, you can connect to them from a repeater or from a hotspot, and uh, there's lots of people connected to the different reflectors, and there's reflectors of different kinds for different areas of the world, but you can connect to any of them at any time, and there's usually someone there to talk to. You can also do direct radio to radio through the internet. Uh, there's ways to do that as well. So basically, uh, it works like Echo Link or other uh, VOIP ham radio technologies where my digital voice goes into the internet and comes out where I want it to. In this case, I'm gonna be using a reflector called 30 Charlie. It's one of the most popular reflectors in D-Star. Uh, there's usually somebody listening and willing to respond 24 seven. That's the great thing about D-Star. Lots of users, uh, lots of people ready to talk. So let's do it. This is K4BBL looking for a quick QSO for a YouTube demonstration. KI4 IL K4 BBL. Yeah, my name here is Brian. I'm in Milton, Georgia, and I'm just shooting a uh, D Star uh, explanation slash demo for YouTube. How are you? Brian, you got Roger down here in Jacksonville, Florida. Semi mobile. And then call us Hilo India 4 Pop at India Lima. All right, Roger, sorry I missed the call. I missed the, the papa in your call. So you're in Jacksonville. Are you driving around or uh, how are you semi-mobile? I'm in an 18-wheeler. I'm in an 18-wheeler in Jacksonville, Florida. That's awesome. Have you talked to anyone international today outside of the U.S.? I haven't been able to get anybody. Uh, no, sir, I have I just turned it on. You're the first person I've talked to since uh, they had been on for the last five minutes. 
Well, that's great, Roger. Well, I hope you don't mind if I put you on my uh, small but growing YouTube channel. Do you mind if I put you on there? No, sir, I don't mind at all. You might want to be looking to get uh, outside the state contacts. I tried to try uh, one Charlie. That's the UK side. Roger the Roger that yeah I was gonna try uh, try a couple others and and see what I can get but uh, just wanted for this video just to make a contact so people could hear how easy it is to make a contact first of all you know because there's usually somebody always on D Star and then second get a feel for the audio quality. Tell me on that Jack. I love D Star. Been on it for I think four three four months there and uh, it's nice being on the road in the semi and being able to talk to people while you're. Moving on down the road, he's crossing the country. Always nice to have somebody chat with. And I'm chatting with people all the way to 2 in the morning, so there's usually somebody always out there to uh, have a conversation with. For sure, for sure. It's a great part of the hobby. Well, I want to thank you for uh, coming back to me and allowing me to put you on YouTube. I appreciate it. I think it was KI4PAPAIL. I believe that's the call. Uh, any case, Roger. Um, Brian here, K4BBL. I'll be clear on your final 7-3 to you and drive safe. Be safe out there, okay? All right there, Brian. Take care of you. It's Kilo India 4, Papa Neil Lima, Kip, Ruby and Jackson Mofona, 73s. That's it. That's a D-Star contact. And you can see that was my first call. I, uh, t I plugged my open spot back in upstairs. I made that call. He came right back to me. And uh, from Atlanta to Jacksonville, Florida, just like he was sitting on my local repeater, just that clear. You can hear D-Star has a bit of a funny sound to it. Uh, it's funny because only because it's digital and uh, it's a bit compressed. So it doesn't have the bandwidth of a, of a true FM audio signal. Um, but you can also send data behind it. So on the screen, not only do I see... Um, you know my information but when he pops up his call sign and some information about him pop up sometimes it's a name sometimes it's where he's from but i see information about the user so under the voice data is also a data stream and people use it uh, can actually use dstar to send data as well but that's it that's a dstar contact look if if you like your local repeater scene if you like talking on fm repeaters and you wish there were more people to talk to or a more diverse crowd or people to talk when you're around and no one else you can't get anyone on dstar is for you uh really because there's people lots of reflectors uh lots of people on there monitoring listening looking to chit chat with people if you like that dstar is your thing so dstar is great i really like dstar I also have DMR. In fact, there's three different digital protocols in ham radio, which I think is crazy. Why should we have three? I think the manufacturers should either get together or us hams need to get together and vote with their wallet, although I'm guilty of supporting two out of the three formats. I have D-Star and DMR. In truth, if you're out there shopping for a digital radio and you're thinking, should I get D-Star, should I get DMR, how about System Fusion from Yezu, uh, the answer should be pretty clear. Uh, it kind of boils down to what repeaters are in your area. If you can only reach a D-Star repeater, well, then you should probably get a D-Star radio. Unless you're buying a hot spot, like an open spot or a zoom spot, whatever that might be, then you don't have to worry about what repeaters are in your area. Then you can just look for the best radio with the best features that's in your budget. The systems themselves, there's very little difference. It's the same thing. People chit-chatting worldwide, having the ability to expand their contacts outside of just their local repeater with just a technician class license. You get the distance of HF without having to have a general uh, license or higher. So that's it. Digital radio is definitely fun. It's great to have a small handy talkie like this that I can pick up anytime and talk to people and you never know who's gonna be on. I've spoken with people in Japan, Korea, Finland, Russia, Great Britain, all over the world and it sounds like they're just, you know, in a car using your local repeater. It's a great system. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. I like D-Star. So check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you very much.